knowledge will bring pain and suffering. Because when you get God's knowledge, sometimes you got to cut back your knowledge. That's right. That's right. And when you get God's knowledge, it'll make you say, Dang, mm -hmm. I feel sorry for that person. Yep. Yep. Because <laughs> I know what God's word said. And I know if they don't change their way, God will hold them accountable. Mm -hmm. So I got to pray for them. Amen. Amen. See, that's what knowledge will do. Amen. Knowledge ain't always come. Because see what God's word say, if you get my knowledge, that means you're going to get my change. Right. That means that when you get my knowledge, that means that you can't reject my word. Right. And you can't reject my word, means you got to follow me according to the letter. Right. Everything I speak, you got to follow. You can't, you can't say, well, Lord, I'm going to do this, but I ain't going to do that. He said, you got to do exactly what I tell you. Right. To obtain what you want from uh -huh. God, you got to do what God Amen. tell you to do. Amen. And guess what? He ain't talking to my wife when he tell me to do something. He's talking to me. Mm -hmm. Well, he ain't talking to her. He's talking to you. When God tell you he held me accountable for, your, for her house and your house, that means that God, the last word is going to be you. Because God doesn't tell you what to do. If you don't do what you told, then God will hold you accountable. He ain't hold her accountable. That's right. If you tell her God say no, and she do yell, then God hold it up. But if you tell her no and you mean no, because God told you to say no, uh, and God got your back. That's right. That's right. That's right. A lot of times somebody tells you to do something, and God tells you no, you say, well, God ain't told me to do that. Amen. God didn't tell me to go to the party. That's right. God didn't tell me to keep on smoking. God didn't tell that's me to keep right. on drinking. He that's told right. me to stop. That's right. Oh, you ain't my friend no more, no? Oh, well. I want your friends to talk with if you want me to change because you want me to change. If God told me to change, you ought to be my friend because I'm listening to somebody that can save me. That's amen. Amen. Come on, D. Great, man. I know you ain't with me this morning. Yes, I am too. I'm with you. I'm listening too. If God tell you to stop smoking, mm -hmm. you ought to make preparation to stop. Amen. Mm -hmm. You amen. might not stop today, but you be working on it. That's right. You That's might right. see, and when you stop smoking, that means you got to go through some pain. That's right. That means that that old nicotine say you can't do without me. That's but the right. Bible says I can do all things through Christ. Amen. That's right. That's right. If I take that cigarette and put it down and put a piece of candy there, uh -huh. next thing I know, I'm, I'm my food tasting better. Uh -huh. I'm eating more stuff than I was used to eat because I got a better appetite. Amen. Oh yeah, you getting a little fat now? Yeah, I might be getting a little fat. Ahead, but I'm going to live a little longer. Come on, now. Amen. That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. I heard the man say last night, yeah, I'm watching my way. Yeah, I sure is. I'm watching it. I'm watching how good I'm feeling. I'm watching how I might be a little overweight, but I got some weight. That's right. That's right. People might say I'm fat, but you name how many people that skinny can run 10 and 11 basketball games in one day. I had a fellow last night after the five games, he was over there sitting there. <laughs> and I took his shoes off. I'm walking around like this. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm saying on my grand the money. <laughs> and I'm blessed. Amen. Because God is adding some stuff into me Six. that man can't see. Y'all missing this fact. No. Because I understand that through his knowledge. I gain stuff. Amen. That's right. See, we ain't short of knowledge because on the radio, it's on the TV. We just rejected it. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. We don't want to hear the truth. Mm -hmm. We don't want to hear that it takes Bible study and Sunday school and all that stuff That's to go right. to the Lord. We just want to hear, but I come to church on Sunday. <laughs> and I get in here and I say, hey, man. <laughs> As soon as I leave out of the building, I'm doing my thing. I might go down to Digger Raven and stretch off. I might go down on the next corner and smoke my stuff. But all the time I'm realizing that the word is telling me that I'm rejecting what God told me to do. Because the Bible says that my body don't belong to me. It's a temple of the living God. And anything I do to devour this temple, God is going to destroy it. Come on now, you smokers. Come on now, you drinkers. Come on now, you liars. Come on now, you stealers. Come on now, you cheaters. And remember, that ain't the knowledge that we're not getting. 
is to be rejecting what God told us to do. I don't need for money to cry me up. All I need uh -huh. is to hear from the Lord. Yeah. And the Bible says that he holds me accountable. See, I got to know that God says that if the pastor mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Stop. is not teaching the truth, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Speak. then he's holding me accountable. That's right. So yeah. if he's holding me accountable, then that everything that That's I right. touch That's right. might look like I'm prospering. Huh. I might have a big old bus and take a people to the TD gate, but in my living or am I trying to make a name for myself? Let me tell you something about God making your name great. Hmm. I can sit home and I ain't even thinking about nothing and get a telephone call hmm. and say, look, they got this tournament going on and they want you. Hmm. Now, when I go down there and do these tournaments, I'm representing God. Hmm. It's called faith. Not only am I gaining favor for man, but I'm gaining money too. Because see, those people that put on them tunes, they're wicked. Mm -hmm. But I know what the Bible says. The Bible says that the. It's still the blue. All the wicked people had to give me their money back. That's right. Because without me, what they were doing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> see, you got to understand that we, what we're doing is that. Hosea said God is reaching down trying to shock us back into our senses. Huh. Mm. God is reaching down trying to shock us back into our senses. Mm -hmm. Well, Lord, I had the money. Yeah, but you didn't give it to me. Uh -huh. So now because you didn't give it to me, uh -huh. you gave it to something else, I'm going to make you have to spend more. Uh -huh. Jesus. That, that that you were supposed to be giving to me now you got to give to the man. Jesus. Jesus. Why? Come a contour. Now I got to pick the man to fix. Oh, cause a bill came up that I didn't expect. But if you gave me what belonged to me, it wouldn't have came up. Now, because you didn't do what I told you to do, I'm causing sickness to come into your body. Because your sin is increasing, then what's going on is going to increase. Oh, Pastor, the Bible didn't say that. He said that I will forget your children. He said that as they increase, so they 